brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. CCU Chairman Joy Duena says GPA had planned on adding 120 megawatts of baseload capacity, but after the explosion and fire that destroyed the 80 megawatt Cabras 3 and 4 generators, they had to make a change. Because of what happened on August 31st of 2015, our plan is now we'll go for the whole 180 megawatts. That is going to replace four units down at Cabras. The 180 megawatts will come in the form of combined cycle power plants, the current industry standard that is more efficient than GPA's current generators. Duena says GPA will seek a 30-year build, operate and transfer deal with a private partner. What we're doing again is we're replacing units. So you're taking out units that exist and you're replacing them with new units. So we really believe that this can, can be done with no rate increase to the rate pairs. GPA has selected a site in Harmon that will be next to a Guam Waterworks Authority facility for direct access to needed water. Duena says there will be additional costs for the likes of transmission lines, tanks and land acquisition. So the question was, well, how do you pay for that? Well, we're eyeing the set of proposed settlement from the claims on three and four. Duena says the 180 megawatts will likely be split among four 45 megawatt units. He says the new generators will not impact GPA's plans to add up to 120 megawatts of renewable energy. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.